All right, today we're gonna to go over top schools in the Tri-County area, which are gonna include Hillsborough, Pasco, and Pinellas County. So being a dad, uh, I know school's a really important factor uh, when uh, you're moving, and if I were going to move to uh, you know a new state, new city, that kind of thing. So we wanted to put together some good information about schools in the area. Uh, this is all about living in Tampa. My name's Chris, and if you have any finance questions, I'm also a loan officer as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we're going to focus mainly on high schools, but I also wanted to point out that um, we're going to have public schools in here. We're going to have uh, actually charter schools and private schools. So couple things to mention um, you know I'm going to talk about uh, price points of homes that are near the schools or within that area but keep in mind if it's a private school uh, a lot of people they live in other areas than where the private school is so they, they just commute as far as charter schools same thing with public schools you're going to be in a certain area that you're supposed to go but they do allow a choice option just wanted to mention if you are picking a different area than where you live that you want to go to school or you want to go to a charter school, then you're going to need to uh, fill out an application ahead of time and it goes into a computer lottery system to see if you actually get the choice that you uh, wanted or not. So anyway, just keep that in the back of your head. It's not a for sure thing just by filling out the application, but we'll put the links to uh, the county websites where you can actually um, apply for that as well. Number one is going to be Berkeley Prep. Uh, it is a private school and they actually have pre-K and K through 12. Um, as far as tuition, I'll kind of give you an idea on the high side, which is the high school level, how much it costs per year. So you have, have that, uh, you're looking at $28,450. Average SATs, you're looking at 1350 and the ACT score of a 31. Uh, there's about 1,340 students and it's a nine to one ratio based on the uh, student versus teacher. The area you're looking at, uh, town and country to West Chase area and um, price points, you could, you could be anywhere between 200,000 up to a uh, million three. It's a, it's a very, very nice school. A lot of new buildings. They have a great athletics and uh, education system there. Number two is gonna be Shorecrest. That's gonna be over the bridge in Pinellas County. Another um, private school we're talking about pre-K and also kindergarten through 12th. Price point's about the same, 28,460 for the high school level. And average SATs, you're looking at 1350 score. ACT is gonna be about a 31. Number of students there is gonna be about 1,019 and the student to teacher ratio is 10 to one. I actually help coach at a different school. Um, they, uh, their, their girls soccer team was actually um, in the finals two years ago in 2020 and actually um, I believe made it through the quarterfinals this past year. Range on homes, 180 to over a million dollars, 1.9 million or uh, 1.09 million. I know where the school is. I don't know a lot about the area other than I do know it's near near the water. It's just over the bridge. If, if you live in Tampa, you can actually still uh, commute there and it's not too bad depending on what time you leave. Okay, uh, Tampa Prep's the next school we're gonna talk about. Um, that's a private school as well. That's number three on the list. That is only gonna be from sixth grade through 12th grade and um, high school uh, cost is gonna range somewhere around 26,197. The uh, average SAT is a 1290 and ACT about a 29. There's only about 699 students, so the student student to uh, teacher ratio is 10 to one. Homes in this uh, area you're talking about, it's in downtown Tampa. So it's actually right across the street from the University of uh, Tampa. 495,000 to 6.2 million is within that zip code. It's definitely gonna be more urban housing, condominiums. Uh, there are a lot of high rises there, but there are also homes. Um, they consider this kind of more South Tampa-ish in a way, but downtown, you could actually, if you're gonna go here, live in Brandon, Riverview, uh, South Tampa, Carroll Wood, you could pretty much get there anyway, you know, any direction pretty easily, just so you know. Next school is gonna be Carroll Wood Day School, again, private school, uh, pre-K and kindergarten through 12th grade. Uh, average cost in high school is about 24,235. And you're looking at ACTs of 28, 
SATs of 1260. Students are about, uh, the, the size of school is about 1,060 students at a six to one ratio with teachers. You can find homes in anywhere between 1.1 to 2.99 million right now. Area Carewood wise, actually I live in that area. Um, you've got um, a full, full range. They actually, uh, um, on some of these homes, they actually go up probably uh, even higher than 2.99 million. Really close, but they're just doing it within certain zip codes. So just on the outside, there's a subdivision called Avila. Um, private gated community, um, very high-end homes. They've got their own private golf course. As far as the school goes, a lot of donations um, helped uh, create. They have a uh, turf, full-size uh, football, soccer field, and baseball. The school actually sits on a lake, which is kind of nice. It actually used to be a church that they converted into a school. Next school I'm gonna talk about is Academy of the Holy Names. That's uh, actually more in the McDill or Bayshore area, South Tampa again. Pre-K and kindergarten through 12th grade. Now the difference on this is, I believe from eighth grade through 12th grade, it changes to girls only. So it is boys and girls up through that, but then uh, eighth through 12th. Uh, jumps just to girls. Uh, my niece actually went there. A high school level, about $20,730. SATs about $1,250 and ACTs averaging about $28 on the scores. Uh, 964 students with a 10 to 1 ratio for teachers. Homes down here you're looking at anywhere between $529,000 upwards into the $5 million plus uh, range. I mean, they've got homes on Bayshore. Actually, if you just want to look it up, some of the homes there, you're talking, you know, 10, 12, 12 million dollars. Bayshore is, I think we talked about in some of our other videos, where Gasparilla is held. So, you know, the flotillas run down Bayshore and you see some amazing houses on Bayshore, great views, different things like that. It has a traditional kind of old world feel. Um, they have a lot of, a lot of um, things like, I, I know my niece had, they have a ring ceremony or ring presentation. And I know some schools have it also, but they have a, it, they make a real, real big deal about it. Um, everybody posts about it online. All the kids post about it. A lot of pictures, families, um, friends. It, it's, it's something that a lot of people that have lived in Tampa, let's say um, wives and whatnot, uh, women that uh, went to the school, um, their kids go there as well. So, and this ring ceremony is a multi-generational tradition. So it's, it's a nice, nice thing to have, especially if, if this is where you're gonna start your family. Number six, uh, we're looking at uh, Jesuit private school. Um, this one is gonna be like in a West Tampa area-ish. Big difference on this is it's an all boys school. So um, it's gonna be ninth through 12th grade. Uh, to kind of give you another example, the school we just talked about, Academy of Holy Names, um, you know, once those, uh, uh, once the school converts to more, you know, in the upper level schools to girls, uh, Jesuit and Academy, they actually interact quite a bit. So they do dances together, they do functions and, and so forth. School cost at Jesuit about 14975 right now. SAT scores ranging about 1300 and ACTs at 30. Uh, the number of students are about 775 boys that attend the school and it's a 15 to 1 ratio. Homes in that area range about 180 to 510,000. They have an excellent uh, baseball and soccer team. Um, they do and are allowed to recruit kids as well, um, but they're top 20 in the country uh, in baseball and top 15 in soccer. So if those are sports that you know your, your kids play, might be something uh, that you want to look into. It is a very high competition to get into the school. So I would apply early and um, be prepared for, um, you know, there's certain testing that the kids have to do educational wise um, before they can attend. So number seven is gonna be St. Pete Collegiate High School. And that's over in Pinellas County as well. This is a charter school and it's only from 10th to 12th grade. It's a little bit different. Uh, SAT is gonna be 1210 and ACT is at 27, but here's, here's a big difference. There's only 231 students that attend that school and it's a 46 to one ratio. So what I'm thinking is it's partially online classes for some of these students and home is gonna range between 110 and 7.9 million. Depending on the area, it must be somewhere close to the water is what I'm thinking um, to get into that higher price point. Plant High School is our number eight. That's in South Tampa. A lot of people move there um, because it, 
it's almost like considered somewhat of a semi-private um, school. It's ninth grade through 12th grade. SATs are 1240 average, ACTs are 28, and they have a 58% uh, of their students are enrolled in AP courses. It's about 2,500 students with a 22 to one ratio with teachers. Homes are ranged between 449,000 to 12 million. But here's one thing I'll say, a lot of people move into the plant district to make sure their kids can go to this school. So they forego paying private tuitions to spend more, more money on their homes. They allow more for the budget of the house. So that way they can be in that district because they want their kids going to that school. All right, Steinbrenner is in the Lutz area. Steinbrenner, it's a high school as well, public and uh, it's ninth through 12th grade only. SAT scores range from 1210 on average and ACT at 27. It's about 2,500 kids in this school as well with a 22 to one ratio. And they've got 49% of the students are enrolled in AP courses. Price point's gonna be about 154,000 upwards to 1.95 million um, in that area where the school is. So always keep that in mind. We're just giving price points of homes in the area within that zip code. So number 10 is gonna be uh, Strawberry Crest High School, public school out in Dover, kind of Plant City area. Uh, it's gonna be ninth through 12th grade. And SAT scores ranging from 12, 20, um, and ACT scores at a 26. It's about 2,300 students with a 20 to one ratio with teachers and about 35% of the kids are uh, enrolled in AP courses. Homes are gonna range between 107,000 and 1.17 million in that uh, school district. I will say out of all these schools, I, you know, I just pulled a, a bunch of different signings with athletics. Got kids going to Cornell, Columbia, Harvard, University of Florida, Columbia, University of Alabama, uh, TCU, Flagler, USF, Stetson, Wake Forest, Notre Dame, FSU, University of Tampa, uh, University of Central Florida. You know, this is just 10. Uh, I know of a lot of other schools. Um, you know, I'll let you do some research, you know, on this website, but out in Pasco County, there weren't a, a, a lot of private schools in general or schools in general that I could find. Um, Bishop McLaughlin Catholic School, is one of the uh, better schools in the area. Uh, there's Sickles High School, Public, Canterbury School um, over in Pinellas County, Palm Harbor University High School, it's over in uh, Pinellas County, Tampa Catholic, private school, Calvary Christian, another private school over in Pinellas County, and then Cambridge Christians here in Tampa, that's where my kids went. Thanks for watching the video. If you found it um, informative, uh, please like the video, subscribe uh, so you can get updated on uh, new content coming out. Again, my contact information is below. If I can help in any way, please let me know.